Nihilist Desire, Bay of Fundy, Nova Scotia. You need to empty it all out. Allow more space to intercede on your behalf and everything, between you and everything, the golden wall of it, the wave and heave of it. You need not to let it mount and crest and crush, instead to let it wash and tilt your words away. Shells staccato all along the crescent shore, when the world is lit with tide and anyone could see through it to what's beyond, or underneath, or nested just inside of it recursive. And when the tide is at its lowest point in this place where the tide has its greatest differential, sixty feet some days and more than that if you ask and are polite, you can walk out in it, the exposed bay, a couple miles or more, rivulets from tide pools slowly emptying. And you should get more empty too. Use more parentheses with nothing much between. They will become portholes, gaps through which we might let the world seep out or in, the bright shifting so much so you become unsettled, lose perspective, start to say it is too much. I don't want to seize you, tear you up with silence, with science, and say is it cliché to ask if something's changed? Maybe it is all the same. Vanishing, a dress, a rustle in the woods, wrestlers seeming to inflict pain on TBS, but more obviously exposed. I want to say it and make it so. But all I hear is shrieks in wind, the creepy Doppler of the ice cream truck's progress down now abandoned streets, and fireworks dismantling my portion of the sky.